windshield was blown out. Uh, you think that might be what it was, the oh, winds going into the oh, tornado. Oh, yeah, it was the inflow to this tornado. The inflow can go into, at a, probably in this kind of a tornado, maybe 75, 100 mile now, per hour. Would that be considered part of a tornado itself? Would you say that you were in the tornado at that yeah, point? Yeah, that would be part of the, that's what makes the tornado pass sometimes get more than a mile wide, the, the just the spiraling inflow. The farther outside you get, generally the weaker the rotation winds get, but the inflow can be very strong. So the, the winds in the tornado, and what I'm showing you here is this huge debris ball. Uh, this, there is a massive amount of debris in this. The winds in the tornado spiral in like this and then go upward uh, either in the center or in the tornado like this uh, out near the edge of the walls of the, of the outer side of the tornado and there can actually be a little bit of sinking motion right in the middle. This is a debris ball. It has a tornado debris signature and has a tornado vortex signature and it is heading just to the south of the Yukon area. It is now south and east of El Reno. It is going to go uh, probably about, I'll measure it here, relative to the uh, center of downtown Yukon, is going to go about two miles to the south of the center of downtown Yukon. All right, have we heard from the, the store? Have you heard from our guys? Have we heard from Battis, anyone? Okay, I'd like to uh, see if we can at least get contact with Mike Bettis and the this, crew. This uh, circulation went, uh, appeared to have gone almost right over Mike Bettis. Yeah. Uh, we're concerned for their uh, safety. Yeah, if someone can just, if we can get like, just a phone, phone. okay, great. So we're working on that. We're going to try to get a hold of Bettis just to confirm they're okay. This is Mike Bettis' location there, that red he's really, TH really symbol. close to it. And uh, if we back up five minutes on the radar, uh, that went right over them, right about at the time we were hoping that the rear flank downdraft had uh, wiped out this tornado. It looks as if at this point that what has happened with the rear flank downdraft is that it may have made the tornado make a little bit of a turn. It may be angling, instead of uh, going straight east-southeast, it may be angling a little bit more directly toward Yukon. So it's I'm a little bit more worried about Yukon now than I have been. All right, we're going to listen in on our, with our affiliate K4 right now out of Oklahoma City. Folks, you've got to get underground or drive away from it. That's the bottom line with this thing. It is mean and nasty. I cannot tell you uh, how much damage I've seen out here, Mike, because it, it's basically been coal and ranch house damage. I've got a house that's been hit. Apparently, I've got the roof ripped off. It was a two-story. We're passing it right now. got some farm implements that have been, uh, been uh, rolled out into the field. So the bottom line is here, folks, it's big, bad, and nasty. But damage path is over a mile wide here, Mike. Damage path a mile wide uh, as this thing is racing off uh, from the 81 I-40 area. And I'm trying to get up north here. I may have the power lines down again that I cannot get through. Let me see what we've got to deal with here. Just one second. It is. It's, it's, it's on I-40. Right now, the tornado is on I-40. It is literally on I-40. Let's hope there are no cars. They closed down I-40 quite a while ago. In and it is in on Washington I and Osage counties around the uh, Hula uh, Copa area, Copan area. So there are more than one tornado uh, in progress. Probably the most uh, biggest one is this one that is coming toward Yukon. Tornado emergency uh, issued for this storm. Uh, yes, it has indeed uh, begun to make a little bit of a left turn. So what had been originally heading south of Yukon now is coming toward the Yukon area. It had been well south of El Reno. It has turned uh, and is going now closer to the east side of El Reno. So we'll have to monitor okay. this storm and this tornado hey, position moment by moment. Dr. Forbes, we, uh, we do have uh, meteorologist Mike Bettis on the phone. Hey, Mike, uh, we were really worried about you there. How are you doing and uh, what's your situation right now? Chris, uh, kind of our worst nightmare. We were hit by the tornado. Um, we were racing to get out of its path. It was coming right toward us. I got to tell you, my life flashed before my eyes. Our vehicle uh, thrown about 200 yards. Uh, everyone in our vehicle is okay. Our vehicle is about pancake flat. Um, oh my God. Uh, we have two vehicles that are uh, operable and moving, but there are multiple cars on. Uh, Highway 81 that have been flipped. People have been tossed from the cars. There are lots of people have stopped to help people out. They're already here. I see one, two, three, four cars that have been flipped off the road. The guy that's been laying here in the median, the guy stopped in their suburban and picked him up and put him in the back of the suburban. Holy cow. We just got overtaken by it. We were racing to get away from it. Uh, there was no, no 90 degree angle to get away from. We were all tossed. A little bloody. My hand's a little bloody. Uh, our guys, our guys are okay. Uh, but oh my goodness, that was the scariest moment of my life. And Mike, uh, I could, I could feel us floating in the air. This thing, it literally picked up. We have a suburban that we drive in. 
If we had a smaller car, I think we'd be dead. And, and Mike, uh, Greg Forbes here, glad to hear from you. Uh, we were really concerned. Uh, we saw that tornado go right over you. Your car got moved. You, how far do you think you got tossed in the in the van? Um, our our truck got tossed about 200 yards. Wow. Um, we were going southbound on 81. It is a four-lane highway with a meet in the middle. We got tossed over the northbound lane and into a field. Uh, all our airbags deployed. The front of the car has been smashed. All the windows are out. The front engine has been smashed. The wheels are all smashed off of it. Um, it, it was as scary a situation as you can possibly imagine. But we all ducked down below window level. Uh, everyone's okay. Um, got out of the car and watched it go off to the east. Uh, trust me when I tell you, you do not want to be in a car when this comes. Now I look off at the distance here, Dr. Forbes. I see some homes over there. They've taken a significant hit. Uh, I see some damage to them over there. I see some barns that have been damaged. I see a couple of homes, one, two, three, four, maybe as many as four homes. It looks like they've taken a direct hit. The thing went right over top of them. Yeah, Mike, this thing has a huge debris signature, a huge debris ball with it. Uh, uh, I'm afraid there's a lot of damage, and you, uh, unfortunately, uh, might have momentarily been part of that debris that the tornado was uh, casting up. I'm really glad you're okay. Yeah, Mike, uh, again... Uh, Again, Mike, I just want to confirm, you guys are okay, and I, th I think I heard you say there were other cars. Is everybody else okay that, that you've been able to see? Uh, as far as I can tell, the cars that are near us that are flipped upside down, there's a couple of cars that are flipped upside down. As far as I can tell, everyone's out of them. Police are here. They're going through the cars. A couple of good Samaritans have stopped as well. They're going through the cars. It looks like everyone is out of their vehicles, as far as I can tell. Certainly, so thankful that you are okay. We were very worried about you there, and I'm so sorry that you had to go through that. We are very thankful that you are okay right now. Well, Chris, I, Chris, just let me say this: learn from my mistakes. You know, we were trying to get ahead of this storm, uh, trying to do the right thing and get outside of it and get away from it, and it just, just over. Yes, and we, we just didn't have time to react. And uh, lesson learned: you know, you got to be safe when these things come. Yeah. No. Oh. And right now, uh, this uh, tornado is getting very close to the Yukon area. Once again, it has got very much rain wrapped. You're seeing the radar here spiraling bands wrapping around with the tornado in that red triangle there. Here is Yukon, Oklahoma. I'm going to show you the velocity on that. It is extremely intense rotation, perhaps just a little n less intense than when it was hitting Mike Bettis. But it has made a bit of a left turn coming generally toward the Yukon area. It still continues to have a huge debris signature with it. All of that blue is debris. Uh, some of that has been centrifuged out by the tornado. The air comes in extremely strong at the lowest level. Uh, and then, uh, then it uh, gets, uh, tosses because the big objects cannot carry uh, go around in the circle. Uh, like the air can, some of those objects get whirled out. The debris a ball here from top to bottom in the north-south extent is two and a half miles wide, and in the uh, west to east extent, I'm measuring that right now, is uh, four miles wide. So a huge debris signature on this, uh, basically the entire what is a debris ball or something like a ball here, and all of that uh, heading toward the Yukon area. If you're in Yukon or just to the west of there, um, uh, keeping in mind that this radar is about two minutes old now, this tornado is extremely close to you. You need to be in underground, preferably. And if not, uh, the safest place you could find it, if you have a helmet, put that on. This tornado is destructive. Uh, 
we're continuing to hope that there'll be some rain wrapping around it and they'll stabilize and choke it off, but it has survived at least one episode of that and may very well continue to do that. There is some warm air able to push in now to the south side of this uh, dangerous storm. And I also want to point out uh, uh, that at the general motion of this storm, it may uh, recycle and put down a tornado a little bit farther to the south. So that would put Bethany and Oklahoma City and then down into the Mustang if it reforms a hook. Uh, Oklahoma City, Mustang, Moore are not yet out of the uh, danger from this storm, but for the moment, the immediate tornado and, is near Yukon. And we're looking at that storm on the left there, a very dangerous storm. Is, is Mike Bettis still on the phone? Okay, we're going to try to hear back from Mike. Uh, he did take, uh, him and his crew did take a, a direct hit from this storm. At, they, they, were, they were tossed, he said, 200 their, yards? Their, their van was tossed 200 yards. I believe he said they were upside down. Their other vehicles, uh, they have some uh, lacerations, but they're all okay. Thankful to be alive, and we're going we're to talk to him again and find out what they're doing, if they're going to the hospital, what they're doing, find out the extent of their injuries. We are so thankful they're alive right now, and uh, they were able to talk to us, but we were certainly so scared for them for a second. There we're seeing from helicopter view uh, a more distant view of the storm. You can see that layer, like a layer cake, uh, hanging down below. That is the wide wall cloud, the rotating updraft. That's huge. Uh, it is huge of this uh, thunderstorm uh, with uh, uh, still a tornado under there. Uh, it's difficult. Uh, the, the helicopter wisely is staying far enough away that it's difficult to see, it, uh, from my vantage point at least, uh, if there's a tornado right under there at that point that can be seen here. But uh, tornado emergency for the, especially now the western part of the Oklahoma City metro area, the Yukon area, uh, coming toward uh, probably a little, if it takes another right turn or reforms a hook, uh, the area is down toward Mustang and Bethany and ultimately Oklahoma City itself. Right now, the tornado circulation is still located about 19 to 20 miles west of downtown Oklahoma City, but is generally headed that way. It has uh, originally was taking a little bit of a right turn to the south, toward the south side of Oklahoma City. In the last 15 minutes, it's taken a little bit of a left turn. Uh, toward more toward the northwest side of Oklahoma City that uh, these tornadoes do not always move straight and especially when the heavy rain that's near this wraps around it can cause the tornado to make a turn it's uh, sort of pushes it one way or the other because that cold air in the rain uh, storm downdraft is dense and heavy okay this is a developing situation right now we have video from the storm riders on the left on the right we're looking at these storms and also scrolling across the screen at the bottom there the latest information on meteorologist Mike Bettis and his crew. They did take a direct hit from a tornado, and we are going to bring you more updates from them as we can, and we're going to put that on, on the bottom of your screen. Meanwhile, we're going to do our best here at the Weather Channel to keep you safe, and so we're going to try to give you as much ground truth or as much video from either the air or from the ground from the storm chasers that are out there providing a valuable service. They're showing us that these storms are in progress, they're happening, and they're helping to drive home the message that these storms are dangerous and unfortunately one of ours did get in the way of it and they did take a direct hit but again we are updating their condition at the bottom of the screen while we're trying to do our best to communicate this very dangerous real and severe threat tonight both through live pictures and through the radar and dr forbes let's look right now it looks like that tornado warning is getting closer and closer to oklahoma city and we do have other tornado warnings yeah, that we need to talk about indeed as well we do uh, we have a tornado warning that is for still parts of Osage County. Uh, this one is uh, has a very well-defined hook echo in it. It's coming generally toward the Pawhuska area. Uh, it is uh, east, that's southeast of Burbank. In what? In the we have another tornado waters? warning for Nowata and Washington What's County. That? That's just east of Copan, heading toward the Lenapaw area. And uh, there are other tornado warnings as well. In Kansas, Montgomery County has a tornado warning as well. And Dr. Forbes, getting word that uh, from K4, our affiliate of Oklahoma City, that a thousand people have been evacuated underground into a tunnel at Will Rogers Airport. That's the, the main airport there servicing Oklahoma City. And again, our affiliate K4 TV out of Oklahoma City, a thousand people underground in a tunnel right now at Will Rogers Airport. And let's here's, we, can we take a look at where, where yeah, it's here's at the airport. latest scan that has come in. Uh, here is Yukon. Uh, right there, the tornado continues to be in there, embedded in rain, right near this red uh, triangle and symbol. Uh, a very intense rotation showing up. 
uh, with the greens eastbound, the reds westbound. It may have contracted a little bit smaller in size, but it continues to have uh, a very well-defined uh, debris circulation around that. So a tornado that has caused some significant damage likely to be still